hey, welcome. Thank you so much for joining me for a story time from my big blue couch. My name is Amanda and I'm one of the storytellers at the library and I'm so glad to see you for some stories today. We've got some fun stuff, but before we get started, I have two things to mention. One is if you've got babies, zero to two in your house, we've got a special program called Baby Time. New episodes air on Monday morning. It's fun things for grown-ups to do with babies. And for the big, big kids, we've got the Saturday Show, our one and only kids variety show. You can find that on AADL TV on our YouTube channel. Lots of fun episodes are starting up again in January. It's going to be great. But that's January. Let's focus on today. Are you ready for some fun stories? I am. Let's go ahead and bring on Mr. Knickerbocker. Can you show me your two hands? There they are. Can you make a beat? Mr. Knickerbocker, Knickerbocker number nine. I just got back and I'm feeling fine. So let's get the rhythm of our hands. Now we've got the rhythm of the hands. Now let's get the rhythm of our eyes. Now we've got the rhythm of the eyes. Now let's get the rhythm of our hips. Now we've got the rhythm of our hips. Now let's get the rhythm of the number nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One more, 10. Oh, that's pretty nice. I like that, but hey, my hands are so warmed up after all those claps. Look what they can do. They can open and shut. We know that song, don't we? Let's sing it. Let us open, shut them, open, shut them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open, shut them, open. Bit, shut them, lay them in your lap, lap, lap. Creep them, creep them, creep them, creep them, right up to your chin. Open wide your little mouth up, but do not let them in. No way. Roll them, roll them, roll them, roll them, just like this. Roll faster, roll faster, 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 faster. Roll them really slow. And wave them, wave them, wave them, wave them. Blow a little kiss. Mwah. Oh, good job, everybody. Thank you for joining in with me for that little intro. But first, before we get to all of our fun stories, we need to open up our banana mail and see what got sent to us today. Let's see. Ooh, banana mail, 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 banana mail. Hmm. I wonder what's inside today. Maybe it's mashed potatoes. No, I love mashed potatoes. Maybe it's, ooh, a pop-up picture book. No? Hmm. Maybe it's a hairy sloth. No? Do you think we should just open it and see what's inside? Okay. Oh, you'll never believe it. There's a letter in here. Let's see which letter we got sent this time. Ooh, what is it? Oh, wow, look at that letter. What letter is that? That's letter E. Letter E. Letter E. One line, two, three, Four straight lines make a letter E. Now E says a couple different sounds. E says E like its name. And E can also say eh, eh, eh. Hmm, can you think of any E words or eh words like E, even, eager, eat, eh, eh, elephant, everything, exciting, E, hmm some good words. Any E names out there? Like Ethan or Elliot? Wow. How about E for Evelyn? That's one of our story ladies, Miss Evelyn or Evan. Hmm. Well, we can't do stories about Evelyn and Evan. How about we do stories 
about eat. Eating. Eat. Letter E is for eat. I love doing food stories. I could probably do food stories at story time every single week because there are so many good stories for kids like you with food in them. Delicious, yummy food. We've got some fun, delicious stories. No, wait, Miss Amanda, you can't eat stories. Stories aren't delicious, but I think they are. Stories are so good. I want to just gobble them up because they're so fun. Well, this first story <clears throat> I want to tell you is a book that the library has, but I have some felt pieces. And this is about a yummy, yummy kind of food called bibimbap. Can you say that? Bibimbap. It's a yummy, yummy rice dish from Korea. Korean rice dish. I love it. Um, but we need to start with a yummy bowl of delicious white rice. Hot and steamy. We'll put it right there. Now that plain white rice, we need to jazz it up with some vegetables. Can you make a beat with your hands? Bibimbap, bibimbap, bibimbap. Oh, very good. We are going to put some veggies on our white rice and we will sing that little bibimbap song in between things, okay? So let's get our beat ready again. Bibimbap, bibimbap, crisp green broccoli, put it on the top. Bibimbap, bibimbap, ooh, hot red pepper, put it on the top. Bibimbap, bibimbap, sliced up onions, put them on the top. Bibimbap, bibimbap, delicious spinach, put it on the top. Bibimbap, bibimbap, egg over easy, whoops. Egg over easy, put it on the top. Bibimbap, bibimbap. Spicy hot sauce, put it on the top. Bibimbap, bibimbap. Nothing to do now but eat our bibimbap. The end. Good job, everybody. This felt word sure likes to make things full. Oh, let's get our hot sauce and our delicious yummy bibimbap. I have to tell you, I haven't had lunch yet today, and that little story about bibimbap made me a little bit hungry. Have any of you ever had bibimbap at home? Rice with lots of veggies on it? I have, and it's pretty yummy. Well, that was our first story about eat. I think we should do a song about eat, a little rhyme. What kind of fruit is this? That's an apple, and a fruit is a nice healthy snack. I like apples with peanut butter. Ooh, that apple has an A, A for apple. Let's see if we can do the rest of the letters. We've got A, P, P, L, and E. Oh, that's our letter of the day. That spells apple. We have a little song that's kind of like the song Bingo, but it is apple instead. We spell out apple, A-P-P-L-E, and then when I take a letter away, we can say crunch, okay? And if you wanna stand up and jump and clap while we do this, get that energy going, please do, all right? But first we start with our letter A. There is a fruit that's good to eat as apple is its name, oh, A-P-P-L-E, 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 an apple is its name, oh. Take the apple away. Now we've got a crunchy clap, are you ready? There is a fruit that's good to eat, and apple is its name. Oh, crunch, P, P, L, E, crunch, P, P, L, E, crunch, P, P, L, E, and apple is its name. Oh, another P is going to be gone. There is a fruit that's good to eat, and apple is its name. Oh, crunch, crunch, P, L, E, crunch, crunch, P, L, E, crunch, crunch, P, L, E, and apple is its name. Oh. Another pea gone. Ooh, three crunches. There is a fruit that's good to eat, and apple is its name. Oh, crunch, 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 L E, crunch, 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 L E, crunch, 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 L E, and apple is its name. Oh, we've got to say goodbye to another letter. Goodbye, L. 
You ready? There is a fruit that's good to eat, and apple is its name. Oh, crunch, 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 e, crunch, 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 e, crunch, 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 e, and apple is its name. Oh, only letter E left. Say goodbye, E. And now we've got all crunches. Are you ready to crunch a lot of apples? Here we go. There is a fruit that's good to eat, and apple is its name. Oh, crunch, 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 and apple is its name. Oh, oh, very nice, friends. Give yourself a hand. Good job. Now I need to take these apples away. I think we should count them. Are you ready to count with me? One, two, three. Four, five, five delicious apples. How yummy. All right, let's take our apples and put those in a big pile by our letter E. And I think we are ready for another story. This next story is a book from the library. Um, it's an older book and I learned about this book when I was in college. That's right, I learned about this book when I was in college. I took a reading class and the teacher told us about this great book. It is called, It Looked Like Spilt Milk. Are you ready? I hope this story doesn't get too messy. Sometimes it looked like spilt milk, but it wasn't spilt milk. Sometimes it looks like a bunny rabbit, but it wasn't a bunny rabbit. Do you see how this story works if you use your eyes? In your imagination, you can see shapes. Like a bunny rabbit. Let's do another one. Sometimes it looks like a bird, but it wasn't a bird. Sometimes it looks like a tree, but it wasn't a tree. Sometimes it looks like an ice cream cone, but it wasn't an ice cream cone. Oh, this one's a little bit tricky. You ready? What do you see? Sometimes it looks like a flower, but it wasn't a flower. Sometimes it looks like a pig, but it wasn't a pig. Oh, what's this? Sometimes it looked like a birthday cake, but it wasn't a birthday cake. Sometimes it looked like a great horned owl, ooh, ooh. but it wasn't a great, horn great horned owl. Sometimes it looked like a mitten, but it wasn't a mitten. Sometimes it looked like a squirrel, but it wasn't a squirrel. Sometimes it looked like spilt milk, but it wasn't spilt milk. It was just a cloud in the sky. That's silly. I like that a lot. When I I'm outside and it's a nice clear day, or when there's clouds in the sky, I love looking up at the clouds and seeing different shapes that I can see in there. Sometimes I see dinosaurs or birds or other animals, but I have to tell you, I've never seen a cloud that looks like an ice cream cone. I'll have to look closer next time I see clouds. Can you try to find an ice cream cone in the clouds next time too? Oh cool, that'll be fun. Let me know if you find ice cream in the clouds because that'll be pretty neat, very special. Well, friends, I have one more book for you, but before we get to that book, hmm, I think we should do a little song. Can you get your two hands out? There they are. If you're ready for a story, clap your hands. If you're ready for a story, clap your hands. If you're ready for a story, ready for a story. If you're ready for a story, clap your hands. If you're ready for a story, stomp your feet. Stomp, stomp. 
If you're ready for a story, stomp your feet, stomp, stomp. If you're ready for a story, ready for a story. If you're ready for a story, stomp your feet, stomp, stomp. If you're ready for a story, nod your head. If you're ready for a story, nod your head. If you're ready for a story, ready for a story. If you're ready for a story, nod your head. If you're ready for your, a story, do all three. If you're ready for a story, do all three. Stomp, stomp. If you're ready for a story, ready for a story. If you're ready for a story, do all three. Stomp, stomp. And we are ready for a story because do you know what nodding your head means? That means yes. So if I say, are you ready for a story? And you nod your head, it means yes. And I've got a really fun story. This story is called Farmer Falgu Goes to Market. And it's written by Chitra Soundar and Kanika Nair. And I am going to show you the beautiful pictures that are in this book. And of course, there's food in this story. And there's a farmer. And the farmer has gathered all kinds of veggies from his garden. All right, let's see. Farmer Falgu Goes to Market. There he is. It was market day. Farmer Falgu loaded his cart with baskets of tomatoes, sacks of onions, bags of green chilies, bunches of cilantro, white eggs, brown eggs, and some duck eggs too. And then he set off to the market. The oxen happily trotted down the road. Trot, trot, trot. The road had potholes. Bump, dunk. The cart wobbled and rattled. Stop, stop! shouted Farmer Falgu. He turned and inspected the vegetables. The tomatoes were fine. The cilantro looked comfortable, but what was that? Oh no! He cried. The white eggs were cracked. He examined the other baskets. Luckily, the brown eggs and the duck eggs were intact. Farmer Falgu set off again. Trot, 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 trot. A family of ducks quickly crossed the road. Whoa! shouted Farmer Falgu. Watch where you're going! But Mama Duck and Little Ducks waddled along slowly. The oxen stopped. The cart rattled. The baskets toppled. The sacks slid down from their perch. Bags of green chilies and bunches of cilantro were squashed under the onions. Farmer Falgu jumped to catch the brown eggs as they slid down from their perch. Oh no! he cried. Now the brown eggs were cracked, too. The market was still a few miles away. Farmer Falgu looked at his cart. Well, he thought, I still have the baskets of tomatoes, the sacks of onions, the bags of green chilies, and many bunches of cilantro. And I have the duck eggs, too. Go slow, he told his oxen as he got back onto the cart. He picked up the basket of duck eggs and placed it on top. The cart went past a family of goats. The cart went past a crowd of children. Farmer Falgu checked the eggs. Ah, everything was fine until... Oh, a big truck sped past the ox cart, blaring honk honk. 
The oxen veered down the road. Farmer Falgu was thrown against the side. The duck eggs fell on top of the onions. Thud! Oh no! wailed Farmer Falgu. The duck eggs were cracked too. Now all the eggs were cracked, the cilantro was squashed, the green chilies crushed. Farmer Falgu wondered if he should go back home. No, I'll go and try my best, he declared. The market was not far away. But as soon as he reached the market, <coughs> The goats tried to eat his cilantro. Oink, 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 oink. The pigs splashed mud over the cart. Farmer Falgu looked around. There was only one thing left to do. He found his friend Kishan. Kishan, he called out. Do you have a pan I can borrow? Farmer Falgu fetched a pan from Kishan's chop shop. He lit up the stove, sliced the onions, diced the tomatoes, and chopped the green chilies. The pan sizzled on the stove. Crack! Farmer Falgu broke the cracked eggs and stirred. The eggs bubbled. The smell wafted through the market. And quickly a long line formed to eat Farmer Falgu's delicious omelets. The end. And that is the story of Farmer Falgu Goes to Market. And there are other books by this author featuring Farmer Falgu. Isn't that cool? And I love the illustrations in this book. Good listening at home, everybody. We indeed had some delicious stories. We ate some bibimbap. We had an apple. We saw some clouds that weren't spilled milk. We got to go to market with lots of cracked eggs with Farmer Falgu. Now it's time to bring out our friend, Mother Brown. We've got a limberjack here. Where are you guys? Here they are. We've got our dancing dog. Now the limberjack, if you haven't done this before, he will dance, dance, dance in the air, and then when, <clears throat> pardon me, when our limberjack is dancing on our board, you can jump up and dance, dance, dance too. <clears throat> but we start with our dancing dog. Are you ready? There was a girl from France who didn't know how to dance. The only thing that she could do was, are you ready? Knees up, Mother Brown, oh, knees up, Mother Brown. Knees up, Mother Brown. Knees up, knees up, never let the breeze up. Knees up, Mother Brown. Sit back down. Lots of veggies on top of rice. And it tasted oh so nice. And the only other thing that he could do was knees up, Mother Brown. Oh, knees up, Mother Brown. Knees up, Mother Brown. Knees up, knees up. Never let the breeze up. Knees up, Mother Brown. Sit back down. The eggs were cracked as they rode down the street. Then he made omelets to eat. And the only other thing that they could do was knees up, Mother Brown. Oh, knees up, Mother Brown. Knees up, Mother Brown. Knees up, knees up. Never let the breeze up. Knees up, Mother Brown. Sit back down. Take a bow, dancing dog. Good job. Well, our dancing dog has a friend who is a teeny tiny man. And you know what he loves to do? He loves to do handstands. <clears throat> Let's see if we can do it. There was a teeny tiny man who loved to do handstands. 
Okay, let's see if you can do one today. Arms. Oh, very close. And the only other thing that he could do was knees up, Mother Brown. Oh, knees up, Mother Brown. Woo! Knees up, Mother Brown. Wait! Knees up, knees up, never put knees up. Knees up, Mother Brown. Faster. Knees up, Mother Brown. Knees up, Mother Brown. Knees up, knees up, now the beers. Good job, everybody. Wiggle, wiggle fingers right up to the sky. Wiggle, wiggle fingers. Wave them all goodbye. Friends at home, thank you so much for joining me for stories today from my big blue couch. It was great to see you. I hope everyone's doing good and I hope to see you again here for stories. Till then, bye bye